Good morning, boys and girls, or afternoon. M Mrs. Archer, if you forgot, Miss Ortiz has been teaching a lot of the lessons because I was out for about six weeks. That's a long time. But here I am back again, and I'm so excited to see you guys. I sure have missed you. I've got this really creepy background behind me, and it's even kind of getting in my hair. Do you see that? It's so strange. But before we get going with why I have that background, let's do a little bit of a warm up hello song, okay? So you're gonna need to use your hands. Let's get them warmed up. All right, here we go. It's so good to see you. I really couldn't wait. Can you clap your hands and count to eight? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's so good to see you, how much you've been missed. Can you touch your nose and count to six? One, two, three, four, five, six. Good. It's so good to see you when you walk through the door. Can you pat your head and count to four? One, two, three, four. Okay, so this next one, we're gonna snap our fingers, but if you can't do that, if you wanna just do this, you can do that. Snapping can be hard, but it's fun to try. Okay, here we go. It's so good to see you, I'm happy, yes, it's true. Can you snap your fingers and count to two? One, two, you got it. So what were those numbers? We started with the number eight and counted to eight. Then we went to number six and counted to six. And then we went to four and counted to four. And then we went to two and counted to two. So you just did even numbers. Good job. All right, so why do I have this in the back of my picture and on my hair? Well, what do you think? What's go around the corner? Halloween is. Halloween is around the corner. We're about to have Halloween and you're starting to see spooky things decorated on the houses. And I just thought it would be fun to have a spooky picture. So we're in the pumpkin patch. You know, it's fall and there's fall leaves and there are pumpkin, pumpkins everywhere. And sometimes you go to the pumpkin patch and you can make pumpkin pie, pumpkin muffins, pumpkin latte from Starbucks. And you can have lots of yummy pumpkin flavored things, donuts and everything. So pumpkins are everywhere. So if you want to make it yourself, you go to the pumpkin patch, don't you? Well, behind me, I have a pumpkin patch. It's nighttime. You've got a nice house in the background. And you've got this very nice pumpkin right here. And another pumpkin here. And a pumpkin down here. Oh, what is that? That's a jack-o'-lantern, isn't it? Okay. So when you get a pumpkin, you can carve out the inside. And then with help with, from your mom or dad, you can carve out little holes for the eyes, the nose, and for the mouth, right? Maybe you're going to do that in a few days. Maybe you've already done it. Well, so let's see if you guys can learn this new song. This song is called Pumpkin Patch. All right. Just want you to pat the beat on your lap with me. Pumpkin patch, pumpkin patch, looking for a pumpkin in a pumpkin patch. Here one is, nice and round, turn into a jack-o'-lantern on the ground. This time when we do pumpkin patch, I've got some motions I want you to do, okay? So we're gonna start out by patting your chest. We're gonna do pat, pat, clap. Try it again, pat, pat, clap. One more time, try it. Pat, pat, clap, good. All right, now I want you to follow my motions. Okay, here we go. Pumpkin patch, pumpkin patch. 
looking for a pumpkin in the pumpkin patch. Here one is, nice and round, turn into a jack-o'-lantern on the ground. After the end of the song, you have to turn into a jack-o'-lantern and make a face. Whatever face you want to make. Okay, let's try it again. Ready? Pumpkin patch, pumpkin patch, looking for a pumpkin in the pumpkin patch. Here one is, nice and round, turn into a jack-o'-lantern on the ground. Good job. Okay. This time, I want you to listen really closely. There's one set of words that repeats over and over. I can hear it three times. So let me see if you can figure out what those words are, okay? This time, I just want you to close your eyes and listen. And I'm going to sing the song, and I want you to tell me what words you hear three times. Okay, here we go. Pumpkin patch, pumpkin patch, looking for a pumpkin in the pumpkin patch. Here one is, nice and round, turn into a jack-o'-lantern on the ground. Okay, you can open your eyes. Did you hear some words that repeated? Okay, I want you to listen one more time. I'm going to give you some hints. Here we go. Pumpkin patch, Pumpkin patch, looking for a pumpkin in the pumpkin patch. Here one is, nice and round, turn into a jack-o'-lantern on the ground. Well, did you figure it out? Pumpkin patch, you got it nicely done. This time, I want you to watch and listen, and I want you to see what kind of body percussion I'm using just for the words pumpkin patch. You can follow along, but I want you to pay attention to what I'm doing so you can tell me what I did for the words pumpkin patch. Ready? Pumpkin patch, pumpkin patch, looking for a pumpkin in a pumpkin patch. Here one is, nice and round, turn into a jack-o'-lantern on the ground. Okay, so what is it that I did for the words pumpkin patch. I did chest, chest, clap, didn't I? Okay, do that with me, ready? Pumpkin patch, pumpkin patch, looking for a pumpkin in a pumpkin patch. Here one is, nice and round, turn into a jack-o'-lantern or no groan. Now that you've chosen what the words are that repeat, pumpkin patch. Let's listen to the rhythm. I'm going to say the rhythm of the words pumpkin patch with the body percussion. So listen and watch. Pumpkin patch, pumpkin patch. Can you do that with me? Get ready. Ready, go. Pumpkin patch, pumpkin patch. Good job. Now, instead of doing the words out loud, we're going to think about them in our head, okay? So think in your head, pumpkin patch, but don't say it out loud, okay? Here we go. Do the motions. One, two, ready, go. How'd you do? Let's do it again. Okay, remember, we're thinking in our head, pumpkin patch, pumpkin patch, but you have to show me the body percussion, okay? Here we go. Don't say anything, just do it in your head and with your hands. Ready, go. Good job. Okay, now I want you to do that four times. Okay, here we go. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four. Good job. I bet there are other ways that we can do that. I bet we could, instead of doing a chest pat and a clap, um, we could stomp and pat our legs. Let's try that one. Here we go. We'll do it four times. Ready, go.
That's pretty good. Um, we could do a clap, clap, snap. And if you can't snap, you can put your fingers together like that. Here we go. Let's try it. One, two, ready, go. Good job. You did it. I wonder if you can think of some other ways. I'm going to give you just a second for you to do it your own few ways. Okay. Think of a few things that you can do. I'll wait. Good job. Well, if you do that rhythm over and over and over, I'm pretty sure you're going to start either recognizing some music that you've heard before or somebody around you is going to start recognizing that because there is a very famous song called We Will, We Will Rock You by a band called Queen. And they have that rhythm going through the whole song. So I actually found a recording of an orchestra playing We Will Rock You. And at the beginning of this song and all the way through it, you can hear our rhythm. Okay, so I'm going to play that song and I want you to use whatever body percussion that you chose to turn on the video and I want you to play along with the song. Okay, think you can do it? Awesome. Here we go.